Hello, I'm Benic13. You might remember me from videos such as the last one you watched that happened to feature me in it. Well, I'm back again, so guess what? You're in for a, a twice as many treats. We're talking about a new Barbarian build. I've already, I feel like I've mastered the charging build, the Immortal King's six piece with Raycor's four piece. If you haven't seen those videos, I'll link them at the end of this video on my end screen and you can click on them and check them out. I've done some gameplay. I've I completed a full build video, also the set dungeon. So I'm trying to mix things up and move away from that. And I've chosen to go for a Hammer of the Ancients charging build. It's kind of very similar to the charging build that we've already done and gone through. But this is more, you have to uh, build up your charges, stack them up, and then you use, instead of using a Fury Spender, you're actually using Hammer of the Ancients, which is going to be doing all your damage and then using up those stacks of Furious Charge. So you can get up to 100 Furious Charges at a time, and that way, when you actually use your Hammer of the Ancients, you come down on your enemies and you're using five of them at once, which is the max damage you can do. It just multiplies by, let's have a look. I can't remember off the top of my head because I'm not going to go through the entire build right now. So, <clears throat> every use of Furious Charge increases the damage of your next Fury spending attack by 5,500%. So I thought so. That's each time. So that can stack up to five times. This effect stacks. Every use of a Fury spending attack consumes up to five stacks. So... Every use of Furious Charge increases the damage. Every use. So if you can use 5 at a time, then 5,500 multiplied by 5. That's the max damage we can do per Hammer of the Ancient. So it's pretty damn good, but it's definitely still relying on charges, which kind of annoys me. But also, it's pretty early on, so I'm just still testing things out and trying to perfect my items and, and stuff like that and i just thought i'd do a video break things down for you i'll show you some gameplay and then i'll go through the build we'll do probably a rake or set dungeon and then we'll move on to something else we're going to do all four sets for the barbarian all four sets all i will do some like different types of builds as well i want to check out the lon rings which have been buffed as well the legacy of nightmare rings they've been buffed big time so there's a lot of stuff a lot of new content to check out this season uh the patch has buffed a lot of things a lot of items so pretty much every set item has been buffed some of the sets have been buffed twice so the two-piece uh set bonus has been buffed as well as the six-piece set bonus has been buffed but just to uh, go through this very, very quickly, it's a full Raycor set. Obviously, because it's the Ring of Royal Grandeur season, we can have one set item less, and we still benefit from the six uh, set bonus there. So I've whacked in Aquila Kuras here. Because we're going to be at full maximum resource, at full fury the entire time, basically, um, we're going to be uh, taking advantage of that uh, damage reduction by 50% which is definitely nice and definitely some items here that go hand in hand with furious charge we're back to the Traveler's pledge and compass rose ring set i need a better convention of elements there i do have a another convention of elements that's ancient but with this build you have to really it's it, it's it's a, it's an odd one because your stats that you have to really focus are on a cooldown reduction big time area damage and then, as usual, your critical hit damage and critical hit chance, as well as strength. However, those the, like uh, cooldown reduction and your area damage are almost more important than strength with this. Strength is always going to be important, uh, no matter what. But it's just, it's a very unique build, and area damage definitely will come into play, as well as cooldown reduction. You want to definitely try and keep up your Wrath of the Berserker up as much as possible. I don't think it's really possible to have it up 100% of the time without sacrificing a hell of a lot of damage. But the shorter the duration that it's down, the better. And we, we can still do heaps of damage with this uh, six six piece set multiplier regardless and also ignore pain becomes very big as well as well as little rogue and the slanderer the the main weapons you want to be using for a hammer of the ancients build of this caliber so every time you spend primary resource gain six percent increased attack speed damage and armor for five seconds this effect stacks up to five times so Lots of stuff stacking up to five times, lots of stuff multiplying here, but I'm going to go through this in detail once I perfect my items and really figure out which stats are most important and what you need to choose over other ones. So that's pretty much it. I've explained the game mechanics. We charge, we build up our stacks, as you can see there. Unfortunately, we're not... 
uh, charging into anything, so I just ran out of charges. But it basically, like, even if you don't use Furious Charge, you can still keep stacking up to 100. And then, bang, once you use your... You have to have Fury, but once you use your Hammer of the Ancients, you'll use those five stacks and you'll deal 5,500 times five damage. Um, and then, obviously, we're trying to... We're using uh, Threatening Shout to... Uh, taunt enemies into attacking us because we're going to try and group up enemies obviously while we build up our furious charge stacks and then bang just cast down hammer of the ancients uh obviously using battle charge battle rage for damage increase wrath of the berserker like i mentioned whenever it's up is going to increase our damage and increase our armor ignore pain is very very important to ignore most pain and Hammer of the Ancients primary damage dealer. Now, most importantly, one of the things I didn't mention is this Convention of Elements stat. This, uh, so right after Frost, Fire is going to come into play, and that's when we want to really focus on Hammer of the Ancients damage. But I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. I'm explaining too much about the build. Let's go have some fun. Let's do a greater rift. I'm going to do like a pretty low end, like 90 or something like that. This is still in the testing phase for me, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick rundown on what I'm planning to do with this build. It's currently really smashing through the leaderboards with the Barbarian. It's taken over the Furious, Furious Charge uh, builds. It's charged through the Furious Charge builds, ironically enough. So definitely want to focus on it and I want everyone out there to make the most out of you know the information and videos that I bring out to you all so let's go and check this out and then stick around for the next uh, 24 hours or so and I'll do like a complete build guide for you all that's coming real soon let's go have some fun in the meantime and check out how this actually works you've listened to me ramble enough I think let's go Ch -ch -ching! yes I am ready And that's like we're charging away. It's kind of too similar to the Furious Charge builds for me. We're still relying on charges. And instead of Fury Dumping, we're just actually using an ability to do the damage. So for me, I'm not saying anything like negative about uh, the build at all. I, I'm just definitely looking forward to progressing and checking out the, the other sets as well. I'm just overcharging, is what I'm trying to say. I'm, I'm overcharging through enemies and having to worry about not having enough enemies around so you run out of charges. And oh, if you're killing an elite and, you know, one dies before the other two and then you've got two there, you're going to run out of charges because there's two. You can only gain charges with three or more or one. <laughs> so you have that dead zone of two it's so annoying and you'd be surprised how many times it happens especially to me because i'm the unluckiest unluckiest individual on the face of the earth when it you know comes to certain things at certain times and as you can see we're charging 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 and then once you build up your charges this isn't a really good example like we rolled a pretty shitty map here i wish we had like a nice open dense map but we, we charge, we charge, we charge. You um, stack up as many Furious Charges as you can. Keeping in mind we're going to be uh, wasting them five at a time when we're doing Hammer of the Ancients. So you want to choose carefully when you when you do, when you do uh, use your Hammer of the Ancients. Oh, this might be a bit more open. If you waste it and you come across an Elite and you've got no stacks, well then guess what? You can't do any damage. The other thing you have to keep an eye on is, see there, Frost damage on my ring? Dong! It just turned into Fire. This is when you want to use your Hammer of the Ancients. See that? Because all of my Fire damage just multiplied a hell of a lot from, from a hell of a lot. You're so uh, precise, uh, dear old uncle. Uh, it, because we're using Fire damage, not only with our Hammer of the Ancients, but in our items as well, which reminds me I need a Traveler's pledge neck piece with fire damage one doesn't have that at the moment so this is why i'm not doing like a full build yet a full build guide i need to perfect my items but long story short ching ching now hammer of the ancients when fire damage comes up and it really really increases your damage big time so it's another sort of frustration i feel you have to wait for that to tick over and then you have to kind of make a decision as to you know, if you've nearly killed an elite, do you start using Hammer of the Ancients, start using those Furious Charge stacks before you um, get back to your fire rotation? Because that's, there's four rotations and sometimes it takes too long. A lot of times I just kill enemies off. 
I'll just use my stacks because you still do quite a bit of damage when you're not on the fire rotation of Convention of Elements. But as you can see, my cooldown reduction could be a lot better because my Ignore Pain has been down for ages and Ignore Pain is really important when Wrath of the Berserker is down as well. But having said that, this is an awesome, I'm telling you, it's an awesome build. It just depends on your playstyle and how much you, you enjoy it, that's all. It's important to enjoy the game, otherwise you're just going to burn out. There we go, so we're moving, we're moving along quite nice. Definitely not quite as comfortable as the Furious Charge build, but having said that, I, I augmented some gems on that. Um, I've got a Primal Ancient, a, a couple of Primal Ancients I think now, and a lot of Ancients, and stats are a lot uh, more prioritised for my charge build. So this is just something I put together like just like last night, and I've done a quick uh, a few test runs, and it works pretty well as you can see. And now I'm going to perfect it and come back to you all and share my wisdom with everybody. So that way you can all charge and hammer of the Ancients enemies out there as well, yourselves. It goes without saying that big open maps are definitely a priority and preferred for this type of build, which unfortunately we don't always get. Like it was a pretty crappy start. This is a bit better. There's more density. Density is always important when you're doing a charge build. But to me, it's also, it, it can feel like a bit of a burden as well. Like you have to rely on density just to play. Like it's, you know, gets to me sometimes. Like sometimes I'm running a Nephilim Rift with friends or, or a group and everything's dying so quickly. I run out of charges. I can't keep my Call of the Ancients and Wrath of the Zerka up because there's just nothing to charge. So it doesn't work that way if you haven't got enemies to attack all the time. Multiple enemies. And this is kind of the same thing. Because without the, the Furious Charge charges stacking up there, you can see 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. Uh, oh, I can't use them. Seven. Uh, if they're not, if you can't charge them up, then you can't do any damage, basically. Because as you can see, the Furious Charge itself doesn't do anywhere near as much damage as the previous Immortal Kings uh, Raycor's hybrid set for Furious Charge. But we're, we're, we're moving through pretty well. <clears throat> There's definitely potential here. I'm definitely, I'm definitely going to spend some time with it. Who knows, I might get like a couple of really good items and, and perfect the stats. And this might be my go-to build forever. Who knows? But for those barbarians out there who haven't tried this, maybe I can uh, tempt you now after you see how it works. So after Frost, which is active now, bang, fire begins, the Convention of Elements. And this build, like, you can't exactly watch YouTube or a TV show at the same time. Like, if you look away, you, you, you have to concentrate on when the fire cycle comes on. You have to watch your stacks. You have to watch, you know, what's attacking you. Bang, 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 fire. It's a very small window there. Like a five second window. Ooh, a couple of leads here. Alright, this is going to be it. The Rift Guardian is going to pop. Thank you all for tuning in and putting me up with me uh, all this time. I know that I can talk. I've become very good at it. Growing up, I was a very quiet child. I didn't really... You know, I used to go to the video shop. Uh, I used to make my mother take me when I was like 16, 17. <laughs> Maybe even 18. I don't know. I was a... Uh, very unique looking and shy child and I just I was always afraid of people I just want to stay home play video games watch movies but anyway continuing on with my story I used to make my mother or sister take me to the video shop because my dad was an asshole he, he wouldn't take me but he used to go to the he used to make them take me to the video shop and then I'd choose all the videos that I wanted I'm showing my age here in the video shop seriously who the hell like everyone's streaming now, you don't have to leave your house. But anyway, we had to leave our houses back in the 90s and early 2000s, believe it or not, to, 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 to be able to bring movies home. And I wouldn't, I'd, I'd choose the movies that I want. And I was too shy to go to the counter because of the, the, the social interaction with somebody. Like I didn't, I couldn't stand there and watch people scan my videos and pay for it and leave. I was so shy as a child. Now, oh my God, you can't shut me up. You couldn't pay me enough to shut up. 
my my how times change. My hair's thinned out a lot. I've grown hair in very very weird places as well. My face is definitely like hairy as hell now. I never used to be. It used to be like a baby's bottom. But anyway, anyway, back to the game. So we keep our charges up. Charging a single enemy will definitely keep uh, recharging and stacking up those charges. And then whenever fire hits for the Rift Guardian, that fire cycle for Convention of Elements, then that's when you uh, use your Hammer of the Ancients to burn him down until he dies. A little bit better with the Rift Guardian uh, as opposed to the... Um, the Furious Charge build, that was a little bit more difficult with the, the, the Rift Guardian. You just charge, 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 charge. It gets a little bit annoying and sometimes if he spawns other enemies, you can lose charges as well if you're not charging enough enemies. This is a little bit uh, more forgiving because focus, uh, focusing on cooldown reduction is a must and that definitely helps with your with regenerating your Furious Charge stacks anyway. Sorry, your Furious Charge um, charges and then you can keep stacking them up. But... Yeah, look, overall, at the moment, pretty impressed. Looking forward to digging up into, like, the finer details of this build and coming up with a build video for you all. So definitely stay tuned for that one. Don't forget to check out the actual Immortal King Hybrid Raycor charge build. I'll link the videos in one moment at the end screen. So check those out, see what you think. And, of course, if you haven't subscribed and you want to support this ugly mug, you know, I share all of my personal stories with you all. You and me, I actually feel the connection. I'm not just here to, to babble and to make money. That's not what I'm here for. I'm here to actually connect with you all. So thank you all for tuning in. I really appreciate it. If you don't want to subscribe, that's fine. Like, you know, it doesn't really worry me. Just promise me that you'll come back and visit the creepy one.